Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. Uh, this week's video is going to be on EGC grounding conductors for your typical branch circuits in a residential house. Um, this uh, video was done September 2018. The code is 2017 NEC, applies to Article 25130, um, and also probably in 406 um, and 404. So this is where we're going to talk about how we have an old home that has no ground and is it possible to ground the um, lighting. Yeah, this is a bungalow style. It's probably 90 years old. I maybe a hundred. I have traces of old knob and tooth. It was rewired with some cloth and then I see some NM cable from the 80s and 90s and now I also see some newer NM Romex cable article 334. Um, from uh, probably in the last decade. So basically, this is your old school knob and two, your knobs, and then two wire. Some of it's still here. I suppose it's dead. I'm gonna go through and look at that next. Uh, we didn't run any circuitry here. All we were called to do is just to ground. Um, when I ground, I make sure all my grounding is to the back side. And the GC guy is going to put in some insulation about two foot deep or 18 inches. And he's going to increase the R value. Um, I'm not sure if they're sucking out the old stuff. It'd be a good idea. I need to address some of these splices that are uh, old school uh, cloth tied. But here's how I typically ground. This is my bonding bridge bar. And then... I went ahead and labeled the rooms that I grounded and I did not just daisy chain box to box to box. I actually home run everything to that room and stapled it and brought all of these EGCs up. Um, the code talks about um, in article 250, 122-ish, um, what size grounding electroconductors. Um, this isn't a grounding electroconductor, but it will be eventually bonded to it uh, down in the panel. Um, this right here is our conduit that goes from here through the next level in a closet all the way down to the basement, or it's actually more like a crawl space like this big. We're gonna do the outlets probably next year for her, but she wants insulation before winter comes and she's getting all this tidied up and uh, all the grounding for all the light fixtures came in. So we hit like that light fixture this junction box and keep in mind i'm going to suggest for her to use one of those funnel tubes uh, basically i'm not sure if the right terminology but you know you can get the 12 inch ones or the six inch when you're doing a pylon and you're trying to dig for your pergola or your deck i'm going to ask her to put one over that so when they insulate you can see down to the junction box i also sprayed the ceiling with red above and red down so she can explain to this general contractor uh, that right over here I've got a couple more splice boxes and there's red right up on the ceiling to make sure we have one two three four right there uh, five and then six so to make sure that all six of these will be uh, accessible to see through you might not be able to get your arms in there but at least we know where they're at so the next electrician can do that we labeled the rooms that they're doing and the circuits and the date that we did the work and bonded all of these boxes as we hit the light fixtures all the way through. Uh, kitchens over here, living room, bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, hallway. So we got all of those fixtures done. Anyways guys, hopefully that'll help you out. So yes, there is a way to do this without trying to gut all the lath and plast, but some homes have to. Uh, look at this attic. Uh, the pitch on it's a 45. A lot of my older bungalows can have like a 20 degree pitch. And for almost uh, literally 10 foot from this edge, we can't get back in there if there's fixtures in the back or, or outlets. They'll have to come from below. And if you can't get below because it's a finished basement, then there's really no way to do that. Sometimes you can go on the outside of the brick, but I believe it's an article, um, I'm trying to remember. I know it's in 250, but it's also under 300. Um, protecting your EGC grounding conductor that if it's smaller than a number six and is exposed to physical damage 
Uh, it's probably also in Article 250, 52, or 53, somewhere in there. But it talks about that if it's smaller wire, you can't just leave it exposed. This can be exposed. It's not exposed to physical damage. Nobody's going to get up here. The conduit runs surface mount down in the closet. I'll show you the next video on that. And, um, and then that's it. Hopefully it'll help you out. Thanks.